there's a question that somebody asked why is it that some individuals by the time they say let us pray they close their eyes they will not be able to say well this is what the lord is saying or let us pray and when they close their eyes they will be able to tell you the solution to your problems let us pray by the time they close their eyes the moment they open their mouth they will tell you histories that is hidden before men but that's been revealed by god i see that when people some people pray they don't know how time passes somebody was i mean called me about a few weeks ago and it was like i spent about four hours and i did not even know time has gone that much in the course of my prayer why would people be experiencing such and some other individuals are like how i wish i can even pray for two minutes five minutes ten minutes how is it that some people have access to god the way they do and some of us don't so we have gone through this teaching before but i just need us to revisit it like i always say in this church if we get some principles if we get them right we can build anything on it the foundation is always what matters the moment we know the, our foundation is christ then whatever we build on it will stand the test of time no wind no shaking will be able to bring it down why because the foundation is christ so we're going to be talking on access to god access to god how can i enjoy my communion with god fellowship with the holy spirit how can i get to the point that while praying even if the children should distract me and i attend to them the moment i go back it seems as if the conversation continues without any form of interruption how can i get that experience how can i get to the point that the moment i kneel down in prayers I, time will be going and i will not even be bothered about time because i know that yes i am there as it were in the presence of god and i know so many things will happen as i'm there with god isaiah said in isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 in the day that king Uzziah died i saw the lord so what is it that will make us to have such testimonies that some people will say ah i see angels oh i, see, I can see the king of glory and you are in the same gathering and it seems as if it's not happening you have been in christianity for so long but it's as if uh, you are using your own strength to drive you through the spirit christian experience how is it that we get to the point that is christ that will be carrying us as the scripture said that underneath us are his everlasting arms amen so that is what we are going to be looking at